the next concept is equality attributes of embedded system so in the previous video we discussed about the characteristics of embedded system so along with that the quality is more important in order to come to the society or the market of the embedded system so these are the attributes that together form the deciding factor about the quality of an embedded system there are two types of uh, quality attributes the first one is operational quality attributes the second one is non operational quality attributes so the first one operational quality attributes these are the attributes related to operation or functioning of an embedded system the way an embedded system operates affects its overall uh, quality so it's all related to the functionality and its operation whereas uh, the non operational as a name itself uh, we can say that it is not related to the operation or the functionality so let us see one by one what are the attributes which are involved in these two types the first one is operational quality attributes so in that the first one is a response response is a measure of quickness of the system it gives you as it gives you an idea about how fast your system is tracking the input variables most of the embedded system demand fast response which should be real time so example an embedded system deployed in flight control applications should respond in a real time manner that means it should respond fast whenever the inputs are given any response delay in the system will create potential impact to the safety of the flight as well as the passengers so uh, one more example which is not a real time embedded system is an electronic toy even if the response is uh, having a delay it doesn't affect any thing about this that is electronic toy the second one is a throughput throughput deals with the efficiency of the system it can be defined as rate of production or process of a defined process over a stated period of time in case of a card reader like the ones used in buses throughput means how much transaction the reader can perform in a minute or hour or a day so throughput is a measuring the efficiency that is uh, for a given time it might be the minute hour or some duration so how much outputs it can get so that is the meaning of the throughput something measurable output in a given time the next one is reliability reliability is a measure of how much percentage you can rely upon the proper functioning of the system so to, to define this uh, reliability we have uh, two concepts namely mean time between failures and the mean time to repair so let us see what is this mean time between failures can be defined as the average time the system is functioning before a failure occurs mean time to repair can be defined as the average time the system has spent in repairs so this is all about the reliability the next one is the maintainability maintainability deals with the support and maintenance to the end user or a client in case of technical issues and product failures or on the basis of routine system checkup it can be classified into two types scheduled or periodic maintenance second one maintenance to unexpected failure the first one is scheduled or periodic maintenance so this is a maintenance that is required regularly after a period time interval that is every time this maintenance should be carried out for example periodic cleaning of air conditioners refilling of printer cartridges so these are the two examples let us take the same examples which are the second type that is maintenance to unexpected failure so this involves the maintenance due to a sudden breakdown in the functioning of the system that is for example air conditioner air conditioner not powering on it is not switching on or the second one printer not taking the paper in spite of uh, full of stack so this is about the maintainability 
the second one sorry the next one is the security so for whatever the device which we will design in an embedded system so it should uh, obey some of the concepts that is confidentiality integrity availability and also the security so these are all the important stones in the information security so if you want to <coughs> know about all these in a single line that is confidentiality deals with the protection data from the unauthorized disclosure integrity gives protection from unauthorized modification availability gives protection from unauthorized user certain embedded systems have to make sure that to them the security measures are added for example an electronic safety deposit locker can be used only with a pin number like a password so few uh, financial or something important related devices to be designed with the password to it the next attribute is the safety safety deals with the possible damage that can happen to the operating person and environment due to the breakdown of embedded system or due to the emission of hazardous materials from the embedded products so whatever the device which we will de will be designing or will be releasing to the market it should be able to take the safety concept as well even if it go goes to a damaged level also it should not harm the environment or any person from that a safety analysis is a must in product engineering to evaluate the anticipated damage and determine the best course of action to bring down the consequence of damages to an acceptable level so these are all the uh, quality attributes which are related to the function or the operation 